Hi, everyone. Tony from Hack the Movies here. A while back, we did Last House on the Left, a Wes Craven remake. And I mentioned that I actually really enjoyed the Hills Have Eyes remake. Is it better than the original? Let's find out today on Hack the Movies. Oh, my God. Kaylee's back. Hello, Kaylee. Hello. How are you? I'm doing so well. Good. I haven't seen you since Christmas time. I know. It's been so long. It's been too long. It's been too long. What a lovely time it was. <laughs> it was. Yes, you were back because we did Last House on the Left. Yeah. And that was a fun time. Crystal, hello. Uh, hi. So Last House. <laughs> See this kind of relationship we have? Real That's quick. I'm so real, happy you're here. Real, real I, quick. I like so I'm so happy oh that God. you're here too. <laughs> real quick, Crystal. Last House on the Left. Have you seen the original and the remake? Where do yes. you fall on those? I don't remember. I had to rewatch them. <laughs> okay. Well, I good. like them. I know that. Okay. The Hills Have Eyes. This is one that I missed in the theaters because mm -hmm. I assumed it was going to be bad because I wasn't big into the Texas Chainsaw remake. All those movies that were get remade. I'm like, ah, fuck remakes. I think that's why I like Scream 4 so much because it's basically like fuck I, remakes. Uh... Um, and then I caught it on video years later and I ended up really liking it. And I'm actually a fan of the director, Alexander Aja. Yeah. Who did High Tension. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is a good. That's good. Fucking movie. And Piranha 3D. I was Which gonna, is another oh, good remake. Yeah. I was going to say Piranha 3D, mm -hmm. which features, and this is the only time I've seen her in a major, mo major motion picture, my favorite porn star, Gianna Michaels, who I famously Jesus paid Christ. way too much money for, for a lap dance. And it was the happiest How? day of my life. Do you want to hear my funny Gianna Michaels story relating to that movie? So yeah. the like the way that you see her is first you see her boobs. Yeah. There's like the close up of her boobs. Did you recognize who it was? No. Oh. My my ex husband at the time yeah. pokes me. He goes, That's Gianna Michaels. Just from seeing her boobs. I was like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> Does she have like a special mold or like mold or something? No, like, you no. know you know just, Gianna yeah. Michaels. <laughs> you know Gianna Michaels boobs when you see them. Um and I paid to have my face slapped with them. And again, it was the when I die, yeah. they say when you die, your whole life flashes before your eyes. I, I'm hoping that's that, the moment. I'm hoping it freeze frames when it's flashing on just that moment. I want to know how much you paid. A uh, hundred. That's it? That's like nothing. That's it? Oh, by the way, it was at a strip club. So I had also spent money on like other girls that night. But Yeah, but. I would have guessed way more than that. Exactly, yeah. yeah hundreds, like I spent way too most much lap dances like, are twenty dollars, so a hundred dollar lap dance is a little pricey. I haven't been to a strip club in a bit. I don't know if prices are different, uh, but anyway, Piranha 3D it tells you what kind of strip clubs he goes to. Which, too. which by the way, I had that same experience. The girl I was dating at the time, we watched that one. I'm like, that's Gianna Michaels, and she was like, "Who is that?" I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> actress." <laughs> <laughs> and then he directed the movie Mirrors which I have never seen, but it got a sequel called Mirrors 2, which I've also never seen. But there's one scene from Mirrors 2 I've seen a thousand times. Anyway, I said that on Twitter, and uh, my friend uh, Joy Pessy, he replied, I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm going to let the fans figure out what I mean by that. Yes, uh, I love the original last... Uh, I do love the original Last House on the Left. I keep mixing them up this week. How? I don't, I think Last House on the Left, Hills Have Eyes. No. They're like long titles. I do the same thing with four letter men's names, if it makes you feel any better. <laughs> yeah. Every single time that I'm trying to say your name, I'm like searching my memory bank. Mark, Mike, John. I don't know. <laughs> Crystal, I know. Anyway. um, it. It's a stripper name. Can't forget it. <laughs> Talking about strippers here. I like the original. Yeah. Uh, a lot, actually. Uh, when what's your experience with the original? I love the original. Yeah. I think I think that Wes Craven has this like understanding of horror and what is truly horrifying more than almost any other director does, and I think that okay. he really nails it. Okay. Uh, what are your thoughts on the original? I love it. Yeah. I think it's very, especially what was it? In, came out in seventy seven. I want to say something around that. It was definitely yeah. seventy. Like I think it was seventy seven. It was after. I know it was after Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. yeah. Um. And to me, that has a very similar vibe of the Chainsaw Massacre, and I really love that. It's it's a little bit more like grimy, a little bit more raw. I love mm -hmm. that raw because it, it's right before that slasher era. Yeah, it's just yeah. before it I really took it, off. We were still in like yeah. the early days of it those was kinds of movies. Still very, yeah, newish. But mm -hmm. I guess looking back on it, it's just like grimy, 
straightforward, nasty horror where it's petrifying. Like that real yeah. petrifying. Yeah. I, I really like it. Like Last House on the Left, it is very low budget, um, which is fine. I think even more comically low budget. Yeah. <laughs> like there's yes. like definitely like scenes where like they're like the moon is shining on the trailer, but really it's like obviously a flashlight. Yeah. Like, or the, when the car crashes because the jet goes over by and it's just the camera shaking. We're yeah. like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed the original. Um, not as much as his other movies, though. I would agree with that. I rarely rewatch it. Uh, I rarely feel the need to rewatch. I think the last time I rewatched it uh, before this was Joe Bob's Dinners of Death, which is not mm. even on there anymore. Yeah. Um. So annoying. I I get why it's so annoying when that happens though. Uh. But yeah, it's it's fine. But I remember really liking this remake and kind of enjoying it more. And I found out I'm not the only one. This is like. For some reason, this is like one of the few remakes where it's actually been acceptable the whole time to say you like it more than the original and no one gets too angry. I don't know how you feel about that, but I guess we're going to find out. I guess we're going to find out. Because <laughs> like other remakes, like people love the remake of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I'm like, no. 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 I mean, I don't hate that movie anymore. No. No. But I remember at the time, I'm like, this is not better. I'm sorry. You're all stupid. No. Uh, but yeah, uh, when did you see this remake? Did you just watch it for the first time? No, absolutely oh, not. Okay. I remember renting this okay. from a video store and watching it with my mom because we watch horror. What a great stuff. family film. Well, she got me into horror. She just okay. doesn't like the gore, uh, gory type films. But every time I'm over, mm. like even now, we always watch a horror film, which is really cool. Um, but I remember watching this. We rented it because every time we went to the... To the video store, we always got a horror film. Mm -hmm. And this was one of them. And I just loved it. I just remember just loving this as a horror. I watched this before the original. Um, the burning scene always stuck in my mind. But it just, I love, yeah, that's really what it is. I, I love this growing up or like as when I saw it. And that's all I got. What about you? What was your first exposure to this? I, the first time I saw this was in theaters. Really? Yeah. You got to see in theaters. I went and saw it in theaters and I did not like it. No. I think that at the time I was so like, but the original is better. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I don't think that I even thought about if it was a good movie or not. I think I was just like, I can't possibly like something more than I like the original yeah. because the original is Wes Craven and I love Wes Craven. So I can't like be no. in disingenuous to that and no. which was stupid. That yeah, was a really stupid reaction. Because you said that I think you went into the remake of Last House uh, kind of negative. Yeah. And then you ended up enjoying it yep. or you did more on the rewatch yeah. i again i was kind of surprised i think the director was really what helped me though because i liked his other like i like i really liked high tension high tension is great until the end yeah no eh, i kind of enjoy it because she was telling the story the whole time mm -hmm. and she's crazy so of course it has uh -huh. plot holes uh-huh that's how you justify it. Uh -huh. People are like, oh, did it make sense? I'm like, yeah, because a crazy person's <laughs> telling the story. I'm surprised it wasn't even, I'm surprised there wasn't a dragon in the sky the whole time. I do love High Tension, though. And yeah. I like his newer stuff, too. He did Crawl. Crawl was good. Crawl, yeah. was, Crawl really was good. good. I love Crawl. Great. Crawl was good. I wish they would have had just some animatronic gators. It would have been nice. Really? It would have been mean, nice. I mean, I'm all about animatronics and puppetry and stuff like yeah. that. But I, don't, I didn't feel that need. I, I didn't feel that. The the scene with like the looters being killed, that was a little too far. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, this is a little comical now. But no, yeah, his stuff pretty much holds up. Yeah. Um But yeah, uh let's let's get into this wonderful mm -hmm. film. I don't know who wrote this. I forgot to write that down. Did anyone know who I did not I don't write know. that down? Written by someone, produced by who knows, and will at least we know the director's name. Uh it opens up on a hazmat team in the desert. Which is very different from the original. Yes, yes this this yeah. movie is really faithful in some parts and then gets a little creative in others. The it's whole the middle of the movie is like almost shot for shot. Yeah. Yes. Verbatim dialogue, but the beginning and the end are very, very, very different. Very different. Uh, well, in the original, it was like a, an airfield. Yes. And they were blasting. In this, it was like a former nuclear test site, which hasn't yeah. been used in a yes. while, in a long time. That's like the change. But yeah, they're testing the radiation, and these guys just get like pickaxed to death and carried away. Uh, I do like when they're all just strung up and they're just like flopping around in the desert. That was kind of fun. Also, I watched this with the wrong setting on my TV. I accidentally had dynamic setting on instead of the movie mode that I custom. So like the whole movie, I'm like, wow, this is 
way overblown. It's just too bright. <laughs> Why would they shoot this? I'm like, I don't remember it looking this bad. I was like, when they're in the desert, like my whole screen like turned yellow and I'm like, ah, I'm like, maybe this movie does suck. And then like 45 minutes in, it occurred to me. I'm like, I should check the settings. I'm like, oh, oh son of goodness. a bitch. Um, I forget what I was watching like a newer. Oh, it was Five Nights at Freddy's and it was just way too dark and streaming and I had to play around with did it. Did you like, I know you did a review. I didn't look at it. Uh, did you like it? Nah. Anyway, uh, then we get a montage of like famous nuclear bomb testing footage that I'm sure we've all seen yeah. a million times. Uh, but it's a fun, it is a fun montage. I like that it starts with like the old infomercial and then it's just bombs going everywhere. Kind of like gives you enough information of like what's going to happen in this film. Uh, we see a bunch of deformed babies, which is creepy. Mm -hmm. But then we meet gas station guy. What is his name? In the original, he's... Fred, but I don't think that they name him in this one. I don't think so. No, because he's, he's not there. in the original, Fred is like the father, like yes. the grandfather yeah. of like he's all the, the mutants. Yeah. Well, not mutants, they're just hill people in the original. Yeah. Funny enough, the last house on the left did not have a last house on the left, and I didn't see one hill with an eye in it in this movie or the original. Lies. Yeah, lies. The whole movie I waited for a hill to just have an eye, like in Super Mario Brothers, where the hills have <laughs> eyes in them. Those hills literally have eyes in Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. Am I wrong? Did you're you not, not play wrong. Super Mario Brothers 3? There's you're a bunch of mountains wrong. with eyes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, it, again, it kind of starts like the original where he's like yelling at Ruby, uh, who's like the girl who ends up like kind of siding with the, the survivors or the victims. And he's like, no, tell them I'm done. We're not doing this anymore. And then there's like a fucking ear. So they give him like, I guess the idea is they give him like money and stuff so he could buy supplies for them so i think that he basically is like working for them so like he's he's helping them mm. capture their next victims yeah maybe a guilt thing maybe a money maybe thing. and i guess they oh, like yeah. i guess that in this they like repay him with like the stolen stuff yeah. from the family that i guess he can sell and whatnot uh but he doesn't want to do it anymore he's like i'm done with this we're done and then we establish that there is a mine shaft nearby which is kind of cool. And then we meet our family, which is made up of Aaron Stanford as Doug Bukowski, who played Pyro in the X-Men trilogy, Tony. That's right, whoever just said that. That was Pyro in the X-Men trilogy. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> Didn't stick. Where, I, I honestly, when I was watching it, I was like, whatever happened to that actor? Is he <laughs> in things? Like, I feel like that guy was everywhere for a bit, and I haven't seen him in anything lately. And then Kathleen Quinlan as the the grandmother, Ethel Carter. Uh, Vanessa Shaw. She spells it V-I-N. Yeah. Oh, that was annoying. Uh, as Lynn. How is that annoying? As Lynn. Just the way someone spells their name. It's like spelling your name C-A-Y-L-E-Y. -Y, am I right? Horrible. <laughs> what a weird spelling. Uh, who Vanessa Shaw was from Hocus Pocus. She was the love interest to the yeah. guy. I know she's in other she's movies, like, she, but that's the one I can yeah. think of right now. The love interest of the guy in Hocus Pocus. Yeah, the, there was the guy. In his Not in Zora oh, Burke. Oh, shit. Although they still hang out. I, I forgot. Saw I yeah. didn't realize that was her. Yes, and yeah. she has a baby of her own, Catherine. Sweet. Uh, Emily DeRaven from Lost. Who I had a huge crush that. on at the time when this came out. I really liked Lost. Ooh, did you not watch Lost either? I never watched Lost. Me neither. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then Dan Bird as Little Bobby and Ted Levine as Big Bob. And I love Ted Levine. Obviously, go back and watch our Silence of the Lambs episode. Yeah. Uh, he's great. I always enjoy yeah. him. And he does great. Yeah, he does really great in this. I really yeah. enjoy his character in this. They're doing the same thing that they did in the original. Like, we're going to California, yeah. and let's just drive the whole way with our dogs and parakeets, entire family. And it's like, seems like a terrible idea. Why'd you guys do this? Was it the parents' anniversary in the original? Yeah, and yes. the original or the okay. silver okay. anniversary. I can't remember. But I don't think that they give a reason for it in this one. That's that's their silver an no, they say yeah, the they anniversary. Say their anniversary. In the remake yeah. they do? Mm-hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay. Which I, I remember it distinctly in the original, but I don't remember it all. In See, I I do the don't... exact opposite. I remember it distinctly in the remake, but not in the original. Yeah, I uh, I can't think of anything worse than driving cross country with my entire family with a newborn and two dogs and two parakeets. I think I think I would just grab the steering wheel yeah. and drive off a cliff. 
drive off a hill that may or may not have eyes. I think I would do that. <laughs> um, this sounds like a terror, and I'm on Doug's. W- even worse, I could not imagine driving with a girlfriend's family yeah. for that no. long. A family who doesn't like them. I'm like, this seems like hell. I would have like purposely like broken my leg so I didn't have to go on this trip. It's- so that's not her husband, right? Boyfriend? No, it is. No, it's yeah. her husband. Her husband. Oh, yeah. Lynn and Doug are married. Okay. I was yeah. going to say, like, it just seems like they have, like, the worst relationship. Like, he just does not. Like, they are only together because she got knocked up with the kid. Yeah. Like. Mm, I didn't she, get that. Did you get that? Oh, yeah. I totally did. But yeah. He does things like say, um, you know, like, like bring, me, bring me my jacket. Right, yeah. And he's, like, there's one point where he's, like, after he gets back from walking around in the desert, he's, like, give me your lip balm. And, like. He's just yeah. very demanding of her. And he looks at his uh the younger sister a lot too. Yeah. Like when she was like tanning and stuff like that. Like he's just like not I mean it is Emily the Raven, so yeah. I okay, but like still. <laughs> I would too. I also think that that was kind of like the intention of that was to like make him turning more into the beast like mutants. Like maybe, yeah. You know. It just it conflicted me because I was like, I don't like him in the beginning, and then towards the end, I'm like, I don't want to like him yeah oh no i liked him toward the end but we'll get to that okay uh so they're refueling at the store and then we see hints of ruby she steals like that ruby. red hoodie yeah ruby is played by laura ortiz what else was she in i, I recognize the name oh tons of stuff uh i'm very bad at the <laughs> i know she... like tons and tons and tons but she's of stuff. unrecognizable so they so yeah. I think uh, K and B did the makeup effects for this, yeah. and I think what's his face, the guy from K and B, like is like one of the mutants at the oh really yeah yeah, yeah he is yeah. yep one of the makeup guys plays that guy with like the neck brace oh that's yeah. cool but yeah so she has makeup effects and I think her eye is digitally like warped yeah so oh, it's did- very jarring really? yeah well I wonder why they did it digitally well because you can't actually move a human's eye no matter what your makeup is you can't like move their eye down. Mm. No. She, like, she had makeup effects on, but I think they warped the eye. Yeah. When they were talking about how they were doing like the effects for like the practical versus the digital mm. effects for the makeup, I mm. think that a lot of it had to do with the age of the person who was playing the character also. Ooh. Okay. So like yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. the kids they did way more digital stuff, whereas mm. all of the adults were having practical effects. Yeah. So I suspect that some of that was also with That could also be it. But like there's a girl later on who like her whole face is like sunken and like you yeah. can't yeah. do that and have the eyes mad yeah. like you can yeah, put a true. robotic eye but it's yeah. gonna look weird so yeah she steals the red hoodie uh and i'm glad they mentioned that the color of it and whatnot so we know who that is later on and the gas station guy gives him directions and i guess he changed his mind again and i love that he's like yeah. all right well that highway will take you there well it's because they pissed them didn't they piss him off or something like that or they did something it was like obnoxious or they said something i just i could think- totally be making this up no. I make up things. Remember, but I believe it. Yeah. Like a we'll go with that. Or was it because the dog went inside and it pissed him off? Like, what are you doing in here? Maybe. And like, oh, I think what it was is he might have seen. I once again I could totally be making this up, <laughs> but I do know he looks to um, his like left or something with the bag that's open, mm. and he's like, oh, maybe she saw mm. like her stuff in there. Like, clearly not oh, his. Oh, maybe. Yeah. So, uh, fuck this. I'm not getting caught. Yeah. You're going go die. But yeah, he's all like, "That'll that's the main road. It'll take you there in like six hours. Like, or you can use this other road that's not on a map, and it'll save you several hours." And I'd be like, "I'm not falling for that." Always yeah. listen to the gas station attendant when they say there's a detour. Because how many movies like there wouldn't be a wrong turn if this didn't exist? Like, <laughs> oh, literally yeah. verbatim from the beginning. Wrong turn right? is another one where you find out in the sequel the guy was in on it. Yeah. Um. God. Wrong. T- Even like with the I know wrong turn sucks. All the sequels suck. The remake sucks. But wrong turn two is so good. <laughs> it has no reason to be that good, and I it is amazing. Watch all of them, and I like still. Hate them for it. Like, <laughs> wrong I two. Hate wrong no. Turn. Wrong turn two is phenomenal. It. Joe Lynch nailed that one. Uh, but no, all the other ones are garbage. I'll give I you only that. like staring at what's her face because she. I think she's so fucking stunning. Eliza Dushku. Dushku. Yes. Oh my god, she's oh. so the other girl in that first only. one was hot too. But yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's not Eliza. Yeah, whatever. So yeah, he tells them where to go, and like idiots, they follow him. I would never do this in a million. I'm sorry if someone told me that there was a shortcut through the mountains that's not on any map. I'd be like, no, I'm good. I'm gonna stick to the main road. What do you guys? What would you do? Would you take the shortcut? If I was spending that much time with my family, yeah, any less time in the car with them. All right, maybe if someone other than that that guy gave me the shortcut, I would have considered it. But that guy, I'd be like, I don't trust you at all. 
And, like, how do you know you're really going to, like, think about it? Like, are you really going to be paying that close attention to the map? Like, it's, you're going to, you're risking now going further off trail and spending more time with your family. Mm -hmm. That's true. And, like I said, Doug is not happy about this trip. No. Then uh, we got to get to the scene where they crash, which in the original, it was the jet goes over them. And they, like, get startled and they crash. And then the dad gets real racist for a second. 25 years, I'm a cop in the worst goddamn precinct in Cleveland. You shoot ass at me. And the... Which I think we need to cancel Wes Craven. We need to cancel him. There's, there's an N-word in the original. Hills have eyes. Can you have believe you read it? a Stephen King book? Have I talked about that on the show? My, oh, my God. I think you might have. Have you read a Stephen King book? Yeah. Uh, what would you call it? My ex used to listen to his books <gasps> on... Uh, on our Alexa. Oh God. Luckily we didn't have neighbors at that old place because I would like tune out and then I would like tune in and I would hear like seven N bombs or description of little kids penises. I'm like, what the fuck is up with Stephen King? Yeah. And I'm like, also thank God we don't have neighbors. Cause this is all they would hear all day long. This is really weird. <laughs> yeah, That's rough. I think I tweeted them back in the day when that was happening. I'm like, dude, what is your deal? Can you stop talking about this? He does tweet back a lot. Oh Very god, he's active. such a fucking crybaby. He's still crying that Twitter's called X. It's like, dude, don't you have he, other he shit is, to worry he about? Is. Um, but I will always the worst part name. about social media is like people I admired and thought were geniuses. Is like, oh man, you guys are kind of no. crybabies when you're not doing that one thing you're known for. Never meet your heroes. <laughs> I didn't even meet or him. Or on social media. Yep. Except for me. It's cool when you meet me. Should we go? Fuck you. <laughs> uh but in this version, it's like uh like the spikes they use uh yep. to stop cars. But like they yeah. really up the violence in this one. And even in this scene, they're like, we're going to establish their spikes, and we're going to establish it by slicing up a lizard. Oh, my God. Oh. While that happened. Wouldn't know how they created those spikes, because they just, like, pop up. Yeah, I'm like, aware. Or, like, that, that kind of group of individuals, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, that seemed a little, like, I know those spikes exist, but I don't think they're, I don't think they're retractable. They that part sounded new. Mm hmm I've seen tire spikes before. They I could see them popping up, like being retractable, but mm. not by that group of people or like mm. going into that town, maybe closer to that town, maybe. Like maybe. saying like, don't go in here. Oh, uh, yeah. But that far out, I don't know. But yeah, they uh, they crash the goddamn thing. Like, yeah, and it is fucked. Like he drives right into a rock and just like shatters yep. the whole thing. And I like the girls like, oh, man, the heat must have blown out the tire. I'm like. All of them, it blew out all of the tires on They're every... shredded. That's not being blown And then out. sliced Wait. them up. I'm like, what the fuck is this? No. Oh. Um, Dumb. You'll never believe it. When you're at, apparently in Last House and Left, when you're at a motel or the desert, you just won't get cell signal. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? That's the funniest thing with like movies now. It's just like you have to establish why the cell phone isn't working. And Doug makes a whole big thing of it too. He says something like, "This cell phone covers ninety seven percent of the United States. I'm in the three percent that it doesn't yeah. cover." Like, yeah. I will say it makes more sense here. Like, I could buy a cell phone not working in the desert than I did in Last House on the Left, where she's like at a motel, and I'm like. All right, uh, that, that, that's that's stretching a little bit. Cell phones definitely solve most movie problems, so you got to get rid of them somehow. Yeah. Well, now we're so far. That's back when like cell phones had like good batteries. Yeah. Now you can write it and be yeah, like, the battery's dead, dead, and I don't you know. have a charger. Easy. Everyone's like, <laughs> nailed it. Yup. Everyone's feel like, that, I did it. That's feel that. <laughs> Dude, I almost didn't get out of Universal Studios when I was there at Halloween Horror Nights. Cause like my phone like died and it was raining and it got wet. So I bought a portable charger and it wouldn't charge because there was like water in the port. So I'm like, I, cause I didn't drive myself there. I took an Uber. I'm like, how am I getting home? I don't know how I'm going to get back to the hotel. It was a nightmare. I used my last 9% to get an Uber and I got home. I was almost in a horror movie. Anyway. You kind of ask one of the many fans that saw you there that could drive you back to your hotel. I only saw two and there were none there at that moment. <laughs> That video was fun. The guy, you know, you saw the video of the yeah. guy wrecking? Yeah, that yeah. was fun. No, we don't have time. What are you oh, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get back here, get back here, get back here, get back here, get back here. Get back here. Hey, hey, this hey. is this is the Patreon thing. Uh, you are you made it into a hack movies video. Oh, awesome. Appreciate it. And dude, it. dude, can you believe it? You're in a mid salad hack the movies video. It's even better. Even better. Okay. Wanna get a selfie? Sure, yeah, let's do it. 
Well, on your phone. Yeah, I don't yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got it. I'm the famous one. <laughs> Let's get a picture. Cool. Awesome. Tag me in that and I'll share awesome. it. Thanks for being here. My brother-in-law, I mean Prison Mike, who's a different person, thought it was cringe. And I was like, fuck you. I thought that was awesome. Was kind of um, and I have a <laughs> note kind of here. Uh, Goddamn Emily DeRaven was hot. When she's sunbathing, I'm like, that should have been the whole movie. Should have been the whole goddamn movie. Yeah, so they just like set up shop. She's basically. like a young, like, isn't she like a high schooler in this? Like, she just looked, to me, she just looks super young. Well, I mean, she's older than me, so... I don't know. I th this is what I thought back then. And I also oh, this think, is no. your back then thoughts, not now thoughts. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. I mean, okay. she's still a good looking woman these days. <laughs> otherwise, I mean, like, I, yeah. yeah. I'm like, to me, like, when the husband looks at her, I'm like, oh, that's creepy. Yeah. Like, no. But then we got yeah. Tony also going, like, <laughs> what's up, that stuff? You're like, ah, also creepy. I don't know. She's the most chill out of that family. Like, the younger brother's kind of annoying. He's like, Pissing in the wind instead of using a bathroom. Oh, he is obnoxious as hell. Yeah, the dad is kind of a dick. Yeah. The mom's just a little too old fashioned for me. So, so. is the older sister. Yeah. Or that's who he means, the mom. I'm getting confused. Uh, no, the, the, you, the, I guess saying? we'll say grandmother. Okay, we're saying grandmother, mom, sister? Sure. Um, but no, the uh the Emily, the what's her name? What's her actual name? Hold on. Her I name is Brenda. 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 She's like the Brenda most chill. Bobby. Yeah, she's like the most chill one in there. She likes smoking joints. She doesn't have any. She's upset about that. Yeah, yeah so I do like uh, that they're going to split up. What you call it? Doug is going to go, I think, on one side. He's going to follow the trail one way. The dad's going to go back. And it's like, do you want a gun? He goes, Doug alone. He's a Democrat. Yep. I cringed so hard when I heard that. I do like, though, the idea of Doug being an outsider of the family for yeah. political reasons. Yeah. And it does set us up for Doug is kind of like, I don't think that this is right politically, but like he's kind of the pussy of the bunch. Oh, so absolutely. like, of course he doesn't well, have I a gun. Really, he really like, is. I didn't really he get is. that from the original. Doug no. seemed no. like he was just one of no. them, basically. They do. There is still the kind of dichotomy with politics within no. the original, but yes. far less. And he is not nearly as much of a dweeb as he is in the remake. Yeah. He is Agreed. such a dweeb in the remake, yeah. which I think sets us up for the future yeah. of the yeah. movie. And yeah. The dad is very like, like masculine, yeah. but they don't, push it as hard as they do yeah. in this. I feel like that's one of the downfalls in this one is it just, it's a little more in my face. I'm, I'm personally not always a fan of that because I'm just like, I hate politics and stuff like that. I just rather- Yeah, it get it out. Get all that woke stuff out. Am I right? Is that what you mean? Oh my God. <laughs> I hate too woke. I hate it when it's the other. I hate all of it. I hate all, just can we just fucking- Yeah, Crystal hates shit. wokeness. She, you heard it here first. You heard it here you first. You mean if I watch the fucking new Black uh, Black Christmas? Yeah, Fuck God, yeah, I hate was, the woke. That was that so was. It was so so bad. So I bad. wanted I. Mm. Yeah, that is. Again, there are examples that or yeah. exceptions that prove the rule, and that was one of yeah. them. <gasps> oh, they do the prayer. They kept the prayer from the original, which I, like I thought that. was so cheesy in the original. I think they point out more in here how cheesy it is than they do in the original. They do. Um, but you're right. This whole section. Is basically the original. Yeah, it's with very few changes. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I was rewatching, because I haven't watched this movie in a long time, mm -hmm. and I'm like, do I like this one more? Because it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. And it wasn't until there's a certain reason yes. later on. But yeah, yeah, for this whole section, because I watched these back to back, by the way, like mm -hmm. yesterday. Uh, I put one on, then the other, and I'm just like, oh, God, the these are the same. Shot by shot, which is impressive, actually. Like, I Psycho, 1998, I agree, Crystal. Uh, what'd you call it? Vince Vaughn really nailed it with that one. I hate that movie so much. Uh, Kaylee, so we, much. we have a commentary track, and I make Crystal go into that movie blind. Oh, my God. Blind. You're an asshole. It, it literally, the commentary track ends with Crystal just cursing nonstop at everyone's name in the credits. I, I don't normally, I of course, I'll joke around and hate movie. I'll, yeah. I'll, like, I'll get, and then I'm like fucking over. I, like, I don't even fucking care. It's a fucking movie. Yeah. That one can. <laughs> and it's funny because like this movie is doing like, this movie isn't a shot. It's a faithful remake yeah. to the it story. Is, very much but yeah, so. that one was literally shot for shot with yeah. very few changes. 
I think one of the things that Craven said that he really liked about Aha taking over is Aha Aja. Aja. I, don't know. I say Aja. 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 Aja is the band. It's the that band sings I know. I realized that as soon as I said it, I was like, "Oh no, I've done a <laughs> thing." Um, I mean, that's pretty much what this movie is about, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. So no, I I think that one of the reasons that Craven liked him as the director for this is because he understood the vision of the movie being horrifying mm. and then was going to try to take it to a new level. So I yeah. think the reason that we get this middle section, which is so similar to the original, is because we need that in order to be able to understand the horror that Craven had originally created. Yeah, yeah. which I think is super cool. Yeah, yeah. I actually I, I really enjoy it. You say points so well spoken. <sighs> That's the nicest thing. I said aha to begin that whole thing. <laughs> I will forget that. Every time you say like a point, I'm like, that's what I want to say, but my brain doesn't let me. Crystal, Crystal talks before the information. My brain, gets... no, my brain works faster than my mouth. Why does. do you think I have notes? So, so I know. I tried hell. it and then if I get I lost. Need... And I'm like, I there don't know are, what I there's wrote. episodes where I don't have notes and I'm like, oh, what happened to Morbius? Uh, he flew, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> we saw that in the theater. I'm like, yeah, Morbius. He has a jacket and one scene. <laughs> Um, okay, look, I like Emily DeRaven, but that scene with her putting her feet on the pitcher, I'm like, what are you doing? Get your fucking gross-ass feet off the pitcher. That creeped me out. Yeah. It's just, I wanted to throw up. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it grossed me out. All the girls stay behind, and the young boy, obviously. Uh, but I like that she mentioned she, like, once, like, what did she say, ganja? And, like, the, the, the grandmother, like, doesn't understand what it is. She's like, what do you mean? It's like, it means weed, mom. Like, yeah. how do you not get that? Uh, then Beauty. Oh, Beauty and the Beast are in this. I love the unsung that. heroes of the original Hills Have Eyes. Yes. Uh, and like the original Beauty runs out, runs out into the <sighs> desert. Idiot. And I'm actually really mad because at the office they still have the German Shepherd we bought for the Halloween short. I should have went no. and grabbed that thing. I should have grabbed that thing. That would have been great. That would have um, been great. So yeah, little Bob goes after Beauty and. Mm -hmm. uh, Rest in peace. They gut that dog really quick. Uh, really quick. Right. And then just leave it. Yeah. And hide. Like, okay, are they violent murderers? Are they high? Like, I honestly find all their murders to be more just like, they really are cannibals that are hungry. Like, they get, during yeah. the desert, they get no food. Yeah. So, like, I. Which one kills beauty? Because like, I think they might. It's, uh, wait, I know the answer to that. I, I forgot to write all of their names. Their down. names are different than in the original. So, Some of the same, but there's a few extras, I yeah. think. Okay, so it is, I believe it's actually Mercury, who I think is, it's the same name as the original. Okay. I think it's Mercury. Okay. That actually kills Beauty. Yeah. And I think that the uh, the idea of killing Beauty, so you have Beauty and the Beast, the two dogs, the idea that Beauty gets killed, uh, like, immediately, mm. it really goes into that kind of, like, duality of man, where you're going to be talking about, like, well, every single person is going to be somewhat good and somewhat bad. So yeah. right now mm -hmm. we have this good family and their good, their beauty has run off and been killed. Yeah. And yeah. now we get to see how they're going to react. Yeah. Not yeah. even that they're bad, but they're definitely going to go yeah. beast mode. Yeah. yeah. Uh, exactly. <laughs> they're definitely going to turn yeah, pretty beauty beasty. Yeah. Beast is there, yeah. And then Doug finds the car graveyard inside a crater. I would have a lot of questions. Wow. There are so many movies. That have done that, where you just the craters. Yes, I definitely have questions on craters because yeah. there's multiple craters. But how many junkyards of cars I can do, we possibly find? Okay, um, I do love the reveal where they pan out and there's like 17 craters. But yeah, yeah keep going. But okay, so things we learn not to do: mm -hmm. don't take directions from creaky gas station um, th yes. uh, attendants. Do not split up. If you see a lot of abandoned cars, get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, are we? Same thing with like Texas Chainsaw when they go to like the house and like, oh, look at all these old cars yeah. and exactly. machines. Like, get out of there. Get, get the out of there. Oh, There's no reason time. anyone every needs that many cars. <laughs> There's like new stuff in the cars and he thinks yes. nothing of it. And thank God he never just walks around and sees all the blood. The blood. Yeah. I guess only one car in this crater had blood on it and it just happened to be on the other yeah. side. Yeah, I don't like this character. Though. Um. And again, they're like newer cars with yeah. newer stuff. If yeah. they were like ancient and all decayed, I wouldn't think anything of it. Yeah. He's not smart. No, he's not. And one of them, by the way, one of them was a school bus. <laughs> I'm sorry. Was was there just what was it just the bus drive? I feel like if a school bus went missing around that area, they'd be like, okay, 
Maybe we should investigate. Maybe Near a military base? Let's go investigate. Maybe it's the trick-or-treat bus. You know, it's another version of that. <laughs> you never know. I mean, they would fit in with the rest of them. Did you find out which version, Carl? Yeah, he meant trick or treat. The original? The, yeah, the one the with... the 1980s. Oh, with Ozzy. Okay, yeah. okay. That's so the one that he hates. No, I, our friend said he hated trick or treat. I'm like, okay, which one? Which one? Which one? Although I do like that original too. It's, it's, I don't hate it. It's it's not a good movie. No, it's not a good movie. Again, I there's like you don't movies. have to see it. Yes, I do. It's fun to laugh at, but it's it's only fun to laugh at in like sections. It's not yeah. like an overall funny thing. Okay. Um, thank God, because when That's I heard accurate. when I heard trick or treat was boring, I'm like, I'm sorry. What did that sound? Yeah. No, he say? did not mean trick or treat. Okay, good. That's my good, favorite good. movie of all time. Um, yeah. it's it, amazing. Like, yeah. Every the one, the one of five trick or treaters who came to our house was dressed as Sam, and I had the Sam out on our tree. Oh. I'm like, oh, you're wearing his outfit. Oh. That's cute. Um, How'd you only get five out of this neighborhood? That's insane. So many people, a lot of the people on this block just don't celebrate or light up. So our street gets super dark. So kids trick or treat and they see how dark our street is and they just and they turn down the, the other street. street. Meanwhile, I'm like blasting music and have lights everywhere. But it's like, well, there's only oh, one I house. Oh, I saw that. I was like, that's actually kind of cool. I was like, okay. Good yeah. Me. Yeah. And then it rained. Yeah, and then it rained, and then I just went to the bar. Because um, why not? Uh, That's what I did all Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> so Bob makes it to the store, and he finds the ear in the bag, which, you know, I'd probably be freaked out if I found an ear. A little bit. With all the piercings on it. Yeah, but Bob is a gun-toting yep. ex-cop. Really cool. Who brave apparently didn't guy. teach his yeah. son any responsibility with guns I... because his son was like pointing it. It's like no, don't. But like no one even yelled. Like sure, the the husband was like, "Hey, don't point that at me." He's like, "Oh, the safety's on." But don't you think like the father, someone else would be like, yeah. <laughs> "What the fuck is wrong with you? You never point a yeah. gun." I I know a guy who bought a gun when he wasn't very responsible, and I'm not gonna name who it is. It's definitely not. The only male cousin I have on my dad's side. Definitely not him. It's definitely. And he doesn't watch the show, so that's fine. And uh, he, when he got his gun, he was he liked showing it off too much. He, <gasps> no. He shot, I think week one, he shot his couch. <laughs> I knew a guy who shot his own balls off. <laughs> <laughs> if it makes you feel better. <laughs> He put the gun in his pocket and is the situation I don't for him. feel bad for Eddie. Yeah. I know, me like, either. <laughs> like, I'm not against guns or anything like mm -hmm. that. Like, I'm not going to get into, like, my view. Yeah, like, you're definitely not woke. We've established that. Keep going. Like, that was the biggest thing is my ex had, a, like, a Walther PPQ, and I loved shooting it. Yeah. Like, I thought it was. Is it James fun. Bond? No. It's just, like, a, I, it's a gun that I personally really liked. I tried mm -hmm. different guns. That, for some reason, I really liked his. What did James Bond have? A Walter PPK? I have no idea. I don't think it's a Walter oh, Never mind. PPK. All right, keep I going. Don't remember. Um, and it's one of those things where if you're around them, I feel like you're a little bit, like, safe. Like, you know the safety of it. You yeah. know how it works. Mm -hmm. But, like, in this movie, this fucking kid has, has yeah. no idea, like, how to shoot. Like, I'm yeah. sorry. You said you only had, like, a clip and a half. Or um, only had, the, yeah, like, a... Only a certain amount left, right? And he's like yeah. fucking shooting it all over the yeah. place. Yeah. Like it drives me fucking nuts. Shit. Yeah. I don't know how I never became a gun guy. Oh, yeah. It's fun to shoot. It's so much fun. No, I like I like guns. Like I've I been around them my entire oh. life. And I get maybe that's what it is. Yeah. I just was around them my entire so life. I never I felt like something to. Yeah, I just but never like, got around. Did you to ever go to like the shooting range and stuff like that? I never did a shoot. My my like so my grandfather like used to take me to like the mountains and we used to like fire rifles. And it was fun, but yeah. I was never like, I never felt the need to be like, I want to do this all the time. Yes. Like, eh. I find it exhilarating. The first book, uh, yeah. the first gun I ever shot was, was like this custom made rifle. And the second one was, I forget the name of it. It was this huge gun. I blew up a car. I have photos of it. That's amazing. Yeah, no, that's that must have been right. so much did, fun. And yeah, because I was doing it like a gun calendar or something like that. And I was July and it was like American flag <laughs> custom rifle. But they're like, if we're going to take a picture with you, you got shoot. And I was like, I've never shot a gun before. They're like, I was like, yeah. yeah I wasn't awesome. wearing a bikini when I was shooting it. Okay. But um, it was just so much fun. And then I was and like, that's awesome. And I, you had a lot of fun. Those damn liberals aren't going to have fun because they don't believe in guns, right? But Crystal's that's based. That's not how that works. Crystal's like based. I've seen that picture. I love the MAGA hat. But I mean, we got to get back into the movie. We got to get back into the movie. Yeah, uh, that's why I have a, a career in the arts. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, Donald Trump was an actor. Have you not seen Home Alone 2? Or his various commercials? He was in a commercial with Grimace for McDonald's. He's an artist. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> I hate this show. <laughs> you're being silent, which makes me think you're agreeing with everything I'm saying. I am I feel very in the middle right now. <laughs> I'm staying in my lane. Not saying shit. Let's silence. talk about the movie. Silence is complicit. I don't know. I just like common sense. <laughs> okay, okay. Like... I like some of the visual storytelling here where he like looks at like all the articles about like mu- like radiation. Then he sees pictures of like mutants and you kind of piece together it's like, oh, this this store owner, I don't know if he's their father like he is in the original, uh, but it's like he's related to the people we're about to meet, and we're getting why like, this area is the way it is. Uh, but then he finally finds the store guy who's hiding, which I, all right, so the original one, I, like, I do love that movie, but like the store guy was just a little weird to me. So a whole bunch of scenes got cut out of the original one. Really? Relating to him, yeah. So, okay. So originally, Wes Craven's version was X-rated, and they made him cut a whole bunch of scenes, which all got yeah. lost. Yeah. And a, a ton of them were related to Fred and Fred's death. Okay. And I think that one of the reasons that that gets so clunky there is because there was, like, important stuff happening. In- okay, yeah, because in the original, he's just, like, he's trying to hang himself. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I thought you were someone else. <laughs> It's just funny. Yeah. It's like, oh, sorry. I was trying to kill myself. I thought you were someone else. Yeah. like, oh, okay. Uh, but no, yeah. Then he's just like, oh, man, I had a son. That guy sucked. I think he killed my family. I hit him with a tire iron. And then he went to the desert. And then I think he found a, a prostitute. And then had some kids. And now he comes here once in a while. And I sure do hate that guy. And then at that moment, after, I don't know what, like 30, 40 years of uh, Jupiter decides yeah. I should probably kill my dad tonight. Yeah. Like he just comes out. He literally bursts through the window and grabs him and kills him. Uh, in this version, the guy is just like, you can tell he's just like super remorseful. Yeah. And he's like in the, was he like injured or was he just crying drunk in the, he was just crying drunk in the yeah, bathroom. I think yeah. I think drunk. he was crying drunk. Yeah. And then he blows his fucking head off. Yeah. Which is, I, I mean, we get the pickaxe scene in the beginning, but that was like the first really brutal moment. Yeah. yeah. And that is such a good shot and it doesn't shy away. It doesn't cut away. It's, I love that shot. Yes. I think it's beautiful. It's um, nice. And I get, splash. yeah. And I get why they would do something like that early on because again, even though I think this movie's better, they are trying to like compete with Texas Chainsaw yep. and the Texas Chainsaw remake opened yep. up with that like headshot. Yep. Mm-hmm. Which really didn't make sense because it's like, lady, you're you're in the car with non cannibals. Get get to a town. Yeah, anyway, we have a I whole episode on that. I don't feel like they had to compete with Texas Chainsaw. I feel like as similar as they are, they are just two different iconic movies. Like for the original, yeah. I don't think they really need to have the urge. Well, the original is very why. the original is very similar to Texas Chainsaw. It is. It's lacking. Well, no, Michael Berryman, I guess, is the mascot of the yeah. movie, much like Leatherface, yeah. even though he's not even like the real main yeah. bad guy in that. He's just known because that's also how he just looks. I met Michael he's Berryman also the recently. Guy ever. He's he was sweet. at the convention I we know. went to, and then I think this is the first time we see Jupiter. He's like hiding in the car, and he grabs uh, the dad. We only see him briefly. Jupiter's not a big player in this one. No. I really struggled in this one. So in the original, I feel like each one of the like mutant bad guy, each one of the cannibal guys, yeah. was very distinctive and had a purpose and mm-hmm. had a motive. And I understood which one was which. Mm. Yes. And this one, I struggled way more with which mutant was which and what was happening when. Yeah. Um, their names are changed, which was a little bit confusing. Not all of them. Not all of them. So yeah. Jupiter is still Jupiter. Pluto Pluto's is still, still Pluto. Pluto. Yeah. Um, but I think. Um, no, Mercury becomes Goggle or Goggle. Yeah, he's Goggles. Yeah, yep. and he's then yep. and then there's another one, Lizard, Lizard, Lizard. Yeah. and it's then there's Mars, and then there's like new ones. There's Cyst, and then Big Brain. Big Brain. He's pretty easy to find, but even yeah. like the mother, like Mamas, yeah. Big Mamas in this, and she is like in the original, she had scenes with like Ruby and stuff, and this yeah. she has like one scene, yeah. and that's yeah. it. But like Jupiter never really feels like the leader in this. No. 
at all, really. And I mean, I really do think that uh, Lizard or Mars in the original mm. Lizard in this one, I think that he's supposed to be the most brutal. He's supposed to be the most. He like, feels like ruthless. the main one. Yeah, which is what makes him feel yeah. because this movie is much more brutal than the original. Yes. So, really like, I think that's why he feels so much in this one. Like, yeah. he is the main guy. And Jupiter is still doing the whole daddy thing. Yeah. Like, he's saying daddy. But I still whatnot. feel like the only. Like, I actually. New, I mean, obviously, because Ruby's so different from the others. Yeah. But that's the only one I was like, everyone else just feels like a prop. Yeah. yeah. That's all they felt like they yeah. didn't. I didn't really feel for them or anything. Like, besides, like, oh, I get the situation that they're in. And that sucks. Yeah. Mm. And even later in the scenes that we're probably going to talk about, like, it does try to have a little bit more of a human feel. But I still feel as if they're just props. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he like drags them through them. I like that they established that there's like mines to really show how they're getting around. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Because mm -hmm. um, in the original, it's just like, well, follow them. Yeah, yeah. where can they? Have? They're in the desert. I like that. Yeah. There's like little things that they can dip into. I forgot to mention, Bobby like fell off a cliff. Little when he Bobby. went to go look for beauty. Yes, mm -hmm. when he went to go look for beauty and found her chopped up. But apparently, like Ruby's just been hovering over him this entire time. Mm -hmm. It's like, you gonna wake this guy up? You're just gonna stare at them like a fucking psychopath. I mean, what's um, she gonna do? Like, she's like the rat litter. Like, I guess. Like, let Ruby. Like, Ruby's trying to figure it all out. And like, she's used to. I, like, how many times have? I guess you have seen a lot of people before, but mm. you know, she's like staring at this kid who, you know, she probably feels a little bit more relatable to because yeah. she's she's more fixated on him than anything. Mm. Yeah. I think that she plays, I think her characterization in this is really interesting because basically what she's doing when she puts that hoodie on that yeah. she took is she's trying to put on the human skin. She yeah. just wants to be normal. Yeah. Yeah. And so she's trying to have that interaction exactly what, like what you were just saying. Like she wants to go and have the interaction, but she doesn't actually know what to do in it because no. she's a mutant. Yeah. Like, yeah she does nothing different. Yeah. That's just how um, she was raised. But yeah, so what's his face? Doug comes back. He lets Beast out. Uh, but I like that he's like, look at all this stuff I found. And she's like, why do we need a fishing rod in the desert? And he just grabbed it because it was new. In the original, Bobby is just like not telling anyone like what he found with like beauty. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, buddy, that's something you got to tell people. You got to tell like literally everyone when you find that out. Um, he plays the obnoxious role pretty well. Huh? He plays the obnoxious role pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I do like... Beast finds beauty and then vows revenge. If the, the dogs could talk, they'd be probably be like, I will avenge you. Uh, the, the dogs are a little too humanized of both of these. I really like it. No, yeah. I like it. I enjoy it. But I'm just like, I feel like dogs would, dog would probably just cry. <laughs> like, dog would probably just cry and then leave. But also the situation that they're in, like they're also in this strange environment. I'm not, I'm like, not saying the dogs danger. wouldn't be protective of the family. Yeah. I just don't think they would go on a hunting mission. Yeah. And then the, the first person they find is like, that's clearly the killer. It's maybe not super realistic, but yeah. again, but I'll, you I know. feel not even just the killer. Like I, the production, I just remember my ex walking my dog before um, dog we had. And there was a guy and like, no reason should the dog have like started growling or anything like that, but he sends my axes like what the fuck no. vibe yeah. and he just went in it. And I've never seen him do that kind of stuff. Except for I had a graveyard once, which was very odd too. <laughs> he ran into the cemetery and started growling at this very specific tombstone. I will never forget that moment. It was so interesting. But for some reason I feel like it's also like they just sense like this danger and especially I don't mm. know. I didn't I didn't it didn't throw me off is what I'm trying to say. Mm. Yeah. I don't know, I thought it was a little cheesy. I thought yeah, I enjoy it. I enjoy that the I dog is in his own movie where he's trying to avenge the death of his friend dog. <laughs> the mutants attack. I'm calling the mutants in this. That's what they, they are. are. Uh, yeah, they attack. Uh, Bobby knows what's up. They're looking for him. And like, I feel bad because poor Brenda. She gets it the worst out of, well, poor the other Brenda. one, I guess, technically gets it the worst. But like, yeah, but she suffers. Yeah, she that suffers. scene is creepy where, like, oh, Pluto God. comes in. And then they're like, Brenda, stay here. Because they uh, they, they hear stuff. But then, like, they're about to go in. And they the Pluto's like, now. And they light the dad on fire, who's now attached to a cactus. This effect starts off really bad. The I, uh, it, it ruined it for me. You actually said when we started filming that you that yeah. you remember that scene really good, and it does turn way better. But that CGI fire overlay, the, the, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. That was like yeah. the first thing that I hated about this movie. Yeah, that was a letdown. The CGI it gets overlay way is really yeah. bad. Then there's an animatronic that yeah. looks just like Ted Levine, and that's really good. Yeah. It's like yeah. oh, I wish 
the reveal to this yeah. effect wasn't so bad because the follow up is so, so good. good. I think seeing it for the very first time, never seeing the original, like just yeah. seeing this for the first time, I was like, I think that just like shocked yeah. me. Yeah. And that's what it was. I wasn't paying attention. So mm. the next time I had actually sunk a little bit more in is yeah. when I was seeing it the better portion. Also, of the how movie. do you guys feel about the weird like camera speed up movements? I don't like it. It's not my favorite, but it also doesn't like ruin it for me. Yeah, it, I feel like that was happening in like a bunch of movies. I think this it time. was a very yeah. popular effect. There was at the like time. as much as I hated at the time the choppy slow motion, yeah. the choppy fast motion was also a little. Yeah. Like, oh, the Saul movies had them. Yeah, that's probably what they were trying to yeah. like kind of go with with that. Uh, yeah, that kind of took me out of it. But no, I feel yeah. really bad for Brenda because then Lizard comes in. He's even worse to her. Uh, Brenda just gets like the bro even her family like yell like her brother at some point starts yelling at her like yeah. fucking Brenda she's been through it yeah I was I couldn't like for a second you think like they're actually like raping her and stuff like they that. are like, they like are. lizard is they are wait has his like lizard says to Pluto you're not allowed to do this you're not a man yet and then he rapes her yeah I didn't realize. I thought he was just on top of her. No. No he's raping no, her no he's raping her but they don't like it's like out of focus in the background Opposite of the Last House remake, where they're like, "Well, we're gonna go for it." Yeah, I don't think I actually understood. Yeah, yeah. I just rewatched this last night, and I was like, "I guess like I just wasn't paying a close yeah. enough attention." Yeah, I did actually rewind during that shot did, because yeah. I was like, "I again, the original is so brutal, and in the original, it is so clearly a rape." Yeah, yeah. And in this one, there's like the camera kind of pans down like to her legs and like torso sort of area. Yeah. And I was like, I don't actually know what that's supposed to signify, and so I was like trying to figure it out, but it definitely was way more confusing. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, that I, I sent you matter. that I sent you that comment I got for the last house review. Someone was very upset that we reviewed Last House on the Left. Right. And they were like, I don't like rape horror, so I won't be watching this. And I responded, like, that's okay. I'll go back to violent murder horror yeah. as normal. Yeah. It's like, like, all right, guys, fucking relax. Well, like, it's like straight up, like, revenge. Like, yeah. Those are. Like, There's a whole shit, genre. There There's is. a whole genre as based around it. As shitty as it is, yeah. I think revenge horror, like, to me, says, like, yeah. This shit unfortunately happens a lot, but we're a lot fucking stronger. We can prevail. It's more like I get it. There's instance. more. There's more victims of rape than there are murder because you're usually not a survivor of murder. Yeah. But it's just one of those like guys. Both of those things are awful. And I talk about one all the time. Yeah. Like I can talk about the other once in a blue moon. Relax. I also feel like I, it's one of the reasons that this movie is so important. Like yeah. the, both the original and the remake. It's important to make movies that feel very real, and it's important to make movies that don't shy away from the topics that we don't want to talk yeah. about. Yeah. And that's why we get Beauty and the Beast, the dogs, yeah. which again, I love Beauty and the Beast, the dogs, because we have this good and bad of every person. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. you know, I think that's super, like, I don't want to shy away from that when I'm watching a movie. <laughs> yeah. What does it say about people that they're just like, they're like, oh, man, that character is racist. Oh, there was a rape scene in that. I will not stand for that in my violent murder movie. It's like, okay, but, but murder is actually the really, really bad one, guy. Like, those other ones are bad, but murder is like the worst one. I wouldn't actually, I wouldn't say that. I okay. wouldn't say murder is the worst. I, I agree with Crystal. Okay. Well, I'm saying one Absolutely is so not. accepted. It's like, yeah, but that's like kind of terrible. It. I'll go with accept it. Like, it's I'll, the most I'll accepted. Bet, yeah, horrific thing to happen that's more accepted. Like, yeah. yes, we're obsessed with serial killers. And like, I am definitely one to talk. I love mm. that stuff. Yeah. We're so obsessed with true crime and stuff. And, you know, people are dressing. I mean, so many horror films actually talk about this, how... Um, so many people like dressing up as the yeah. the villain and stuff like yeah. that, and it's yeah. yeah, it's pretty brutal. And then it's they brutal. kill they kill that bird again. I love the bird kill scenes in both movies. I think it's brutal. Yeah. The idea, yeah. I, again, yeah. it's I don't like animal kills usually. No. Animal yeah. kills are really really hard on me. I don't like them when Beauty dies, mm. but yeah. there is something about that parakeet scene with the breaking of its neck and then the drinking of its blood that is yeah. just. It's it's like one of those just disgusting like ugh kind of moments and it it works for me. To me, it feels a little bit more like ritualistic. Yeah, yeah. is how I feel. Like yeah. I, I don't want to say it's a little bit more accepting, but it's it just it gives that little bit more um, raw, almost like savage kind of mm. vibe. Yeah, I. Uh, it's funny because I had like parakeets when I was younger, and like mm. those aren't vacation animals. That's a uh, you They're find obnoxious. someone yeah. you, you find someone yeah. to watch that animal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's weird in both versions. I'm like, why did you bring the goddamn yeah. parakeet? That's so stupid. They'll survive, though. Just, they're just, you're fine. They're fucking <laughs> fine. So I, I had one for years, Bird. I was in charge of naming him. I clearly <laughs> took too long to name him, and we just got used to calling him Bird. But when we first got him, there were two, and the one just 
screeched all the time. And then I accidentally left the cage open and that one flew away. But like, it was one of those where like, no one was upset. Even the remaining birds seemed a lot calmer oh, after no. that one left. Yeah. I mean, I feel like that's a common thing. Yeah. We're like, we're like, oh no, I'm... that one flew away. Oh, I'm no. sure he lived a long life or he, <laughs> no. or he fed an owl or something. I had three and I should have known this when, so my cat Beelzebub, Prince Beelzebub, Bub. So he used to, somehow he grabbed a bird from outside and it was a dead bird and brought it and dropped it right in front of the parakeets, which was the weirdest that's fucking not, thing. That's not the place you want to drop that. <laughs> Literally, I was like, my ex and I were like stared at that and we were like horrified. We're like, Bob, why'd you do that right in front of them? And we should have took that as a hint because there was a day where we only had two left. Oh, no. Yeah. Bob is savage. They I think love it's him. food. <laughs> um... So yeah, the mutants uh, take the uh, the baby hostage, but then the moment from the poster happens when uh, what's it called? Lynn shows up, and they like they put his like hand on her, and that that moment was like used in all like the posters, yeah. the creepy hand yeah. on her face, uh, and that's kind of tense. That whole scene. It's a very tense. I mean, you start with a rape scene, then you follow yeah. it with, with drinking the, a parakeet's blood, and then baby hostage, and then baby hostage. And then a huge scuffle. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, oh, and then he like sucks on her boobs. Yeah. Breastfeeding. Uh, right? I got more. Oh, yeah. Then. That is, yeah, I guess, what she was like, doing. Yeah. Ah! Great, but yeah. I got the breastfeeding yeah. because she's a new mom. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> you okay, Tony? You just got that. Oh no. It's gross. It's so gross. Like my, at first you think it's a was, sexual thing. My sister was but... blending her breast milk with food when the babies like started eating like solids. Yeah. She got my brother in law. He's <gasps> like, hey, you gotta try this. He's like, is your breast milk in there? She's like, no, no, no it's not for the babies. <laughs> oh, he's like, that... are you sure? And she's like, no, it's fine. And then as soon as he ate it, she was like, this breast milk. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, you that is like, such Bleh. a fetish too. Oh my god. No, Jim Bros like... got into it. I told her, like, Jim Bros think that it gives you extra nutrients or something. I'm like, Nicole, you should try to sell whatever you have left over. You can make so much money from that. <laughs> yeah, you can. Oh my God. Uh, anyway, so that's creepy. The uh, the mom, <laughs> the grandmother, I guess, comes in, gets shot like in the original. Yep. Uh, and then the baby mama, holy shit. You like, feel so I wasn't bad. ready for that. And like, I knew she was going to die, I think, but it was just like, pfft, and then bl brain matter just splatters everywhere. It's beautiful. And it's then she's not even really dead yet, which makes it even worse. Like, and while this is happening, yeah. they're like trying to put the dad out because he's just charred. But I felt that that brutal baby mama's like, scene was because she was like trying to save her sister like mm. you feel like you're like fuck like i'll take it. like she basically sacrificed no yeah. this was definitely an yeah. option like you're not taking my like you're not taking my kid you're not taking my no. younger sister like duke gets his arm fuck. ripped off right yeah and yeah. she she's like about to stab him right before she gets shot like she's yeah. about to grab there's like the um screwdriver, the screwdriver right? yeah. yeah i thought she does stab him in the leg she, she stabs yeah, yeah. Stab she stabs him. another yeah that's right and then yeah. one of them i think lizard gets his arm cut off yeah. or something because there's like an arm with a radio afterwards yeah uh but yeah that's like a horrifying yeah. scene with a lot of loss uh, and you're like, well, that's terrifying. But then the movie's like, okay, we're going to reward you. Uh, Beast is going to kill goggles <laughs> and like fucking murders him. <laughs> uh, so it's like, okay, well, thanks for giving us that. It doesn't really make up for all the horrible things we just saw, but at least the dog got revenge. Dog gets revenge. Yeah. Often. Uh, I do like the moment where they think the mutants are back, but then it turns out it's just the radio yeah. left over. Uh, and I like, they're like, goggles, where are you? Where are you, Goggles? And it's like, Goggles is fucking dead. Yeah. And the next day, Doug goes uh, to hunt the mutants in the mines. <sighs> I'm sorry. I would just keep walking back the way we came. I'm not yes. going to. Yeah. I know the baby is there and yeah. he's the dad, but I'm like, no, nah, I'm sorry. I'm leaving. <laughs> he didn't seem to care that much in the beginning for the baby. Like, it just Well, didn't the baby feel... wasn't in danger at that point. He doesn't want the baby to die. It is his baby. What what was it? Wasn't the younger brother or someone was yelling like your fucking kid is out there? Like, wasn't yeah. there a point where he was like about to just abandon the baby or something? Was there? Did yeah. I... Oh. There it wasn't Oh my god, what the hell was that? Do you he know what does, I'm talking he about, 100% though, right? yells. He 100% at one point yells. Somebody yells at him. I think it's Bobby. Hmm. Yeah. 
That's like your I fucking think that Bo- has your yeah, they Bobby just killed your like, like yeah. wife. They have your fucking child. You're he, totally right. Yeah, I think he was like about to like fucking say fuck this shit. Yeah. And then somehow it, I guess that clicks to him. Like yeah, I would I would have bailed. I'm a bit of a would have bailed. I would have never went on the trip. <laughs> but I also would have bailed. I would have bailed a long time ago. You're really good at bailing when people need help. <laughs> so I like when he goes like through the mines. I thought that was a cool setting. I thought more horror stuff was gonna happen around like yeah. the mines. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, when he gets out the other side, there's a whole town. There's a whole I town. I love this town. Yeah, so it what we learn is um Oh, by the way, back at the trailer, the other siblings are having meltdowns, understandably. Uh, oh my god, pulling but yeah, their the town, dead Wait, is this both after or before they pull their dead mom out of the trailer? It's like around, around the same yeah. time. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, they just throw them in the car. I'm like, oh, they're gonna get hot. Like I know you don't want animals to eat them, but like that was a pretty tragic scene. Yeah, and I, I think that Brenda says at one point to Bobby when he's like putting them in the car, he's yeah. like, she's like, "Don't bump your head" or something like that. So like they're still like caring about each other, and yeah, like, and yet they're like transporting the bodies of their most loved humans. Yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah. They like have a huge fight scene. Like they're screaming at each other. I remember him just like freaking out, being like, "Brenda!" He's like, "They're not gonna Brenda." It's like they're not gonna see the fire. We're fucked. Yeah, but then they embrace afterwards. You're like, they're yeah. just and he's setting up like a warning system around the thing. But yeah, the uh, the town that we find was, I guess it was meant for a nuclear test, but it must have been abandoned because it wouldn't be there, obviously. Because uh, like the, the you still see the mannequins like on the the swings and whatnot. It looks like something happened though, not just abandoned and dirty and just. It looks like no. Maybe they were like blasting around it, but they definitely didn't. Or nuke like it, it didn't it, work or something yeah. like that. I really love that. I love that whole setup. I think that that's a really cool setting for yeah. this movie. Like the idea of having like mannequins and being like ideal, idyllic, and like, yeah, it's uh-huh. like this perfect setting for this disgusting movie that we're yeah. we're like trudging through, and then all of a sudden we get to this like perfect, like everything is <laughs> yeah. everything is so perfect that it's not even moving. Like, like the kids on the swing yeah. and stuff like that. You're like, yeah. Ex- Exactly. Um, you know, out of the movies I've reviewed this year that have a nuclear testing site, this is the second best. You know, Oppenheimer won this. And at the very bottom is Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, but let's keep going. Uh, Doug finds this baby and some neck brace mutant who is Sis, who is the, I think yeah. it's Greg Nicotoro. I, yeah, think. I think. I can't remember. I think it's Greg Nicotoro. Where did they get the neck brace from? I thought his name was Halo. Is it? I thought it was Sis. Maybe I read something wrong. Maybe I'm mixing him up with someone. I don't know. I thought I Googled it. I thought I saw that his name was Sis. I might be remembering that wrong also. Maybe. Maybe. Um, Somebody will correct me. (laughs) Me, not you. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Yes, you're so right on that. So I like that he puts the dog in like that weird car with like mattresses on the side. Mm Mm-hmm. And he's like, good dog. Like, how's that dog not freaking the fuck out? That I don't understand. No. Well, the like, dog, the dog, no, he, the dog learned when he went on his revenge mission against Goggles <laughs> to be stealthy. He knows, he's like, okay, I gotta be stealthy when I go around these people. That dog, I think, would have taken off when they got to the town and yeah. stuff like that. Like, funny fuck thing this. is, in most versions, Batman's dog, Ace the Bat Hound, is, I think, a German Shepherd. They made him a pit bull in the new movie. <gasps> I love that personally because I think pit bulls get such bad rap. I'm a huge pit bull fan, not the rapper. I love pit bulls. They're my favorite dog. They're the only dog I ever liked. Oh. I don't really have a strong opinion on dogs. Okay. Uh, (laughs) See, you you go to the shelter and there's a lot of pities and stuff like that. Like, no. They always get such a bad rap, and I just, I love them. I've had them. I'm sure the comment section's having fun with that. I'm sure they are. Uh, uh, So uh, Big Mama, who again is like not a character in this. That's how I. That's how I saw that she was credited. She feels like a completely different character. Oh, the, she's a completely different character. In the original, she's clearly like the prostitute that yeah. Jupiter found at some point, uh, that he knocked up and made his weird mountain lady wife. But like, she's like shitting on Ruby and stuff in the original. Yeah. Ruby yeah. has a whole scene, and here this is like her only scene. She's watching divorce court, so they get I television. Think that's hilarious. <laughs> they get television. It's satellite. Which means the radio he has <laughs> could probably that? radio for help if they're getting like a TV signal. Yeah. Because the problem was that they were like in there like this iron, mountain range. There was yeah. iron in the mountains. Yeah. And that was blocking the signals. Yes. But now that he's out, once I got on the other yes. side, as soon as I saw a TV would work, I would like run away and then start radioing. Yeah. Yes. Because they did radio back to. No, I don't think they radioed it. They in. radio back to the... Oh, um, they radioed to each other. They're to each other. So how does that work? I don't Walkie know. Walkie-talkies don't need 
signals like that. Walkie talkies close yeah, they, to each other are fine. But like the CB radio or something, I would I don't wouldn't know. work. I don't, I don't know. know how. I would just be trying work. different channels. Yeah. Being like, help, know, help, when help. I had a walkie talkie when I was little. I would just change to whatever station I heard other people talking and I would yeah. fuck with them. <laughs> um, but yeah, Divorce Court. I thought that was funny. That was that's like, funny. that's what they watch. Yeah. <laughs> divorce Court. Um, yeah, let's not hate humans even more. Like, right <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. So he grabs the baby and he's trying to sneak out. And for some reason, Big Mama is also stealthy. And she wow, somehow gets around fuck. to the other side of the house and then hits him with a goddamn fire extinguisher without killing the baby. Which doesn't make much because so you're hearing the creaking hardcore as like hardcore as he's walking. Mm. And you're like, oh, he's gonna get caught. How do you not fucking hear the creaking when she walks? It doesn't make any sense with the floors that creaking. She knows the house better. And every creak? She's a big lady. She knows what parts of the house will creak, okay? <laughs> she knows. She's aware. Oh my god. <laughs> She literally has it like pinpointed. Yeah. Like, <laughs> There's like little footprints. Yes! Yeah. That's exactly Everybody where she's going to stop. Yep. yep. And then Doug wakes up in a meat locker, which, by the way, he like. He finally gets some light and sees that there's dead bodies and he freaks out. It's like, he would smell it, buddy. Oh, yeah. You would smell it as soon as you yeah. woke up. I don't even know if the. I, I, I guess it's turned on. Maybe it's being refrigerated, but like, you would smell those guys. Um, How? I want to know. So that. It's getting electricity to those houses? They have a generator. Oh, yeah. They had a generator. Okay, Beast escapes the car, and he goes back on his murder uh, mission. Uh, I felt really bad. So at the house, they put Big Bob at the dinner table, and they shoved an American flag in his head. Yep. And I'm like, oh, buddy, that's mean. That's mean. I don't, think they did, I don't think they did anything with the dad in the original once he was dead after, like, the fire thing, but... No, I don't think that they did either. No, but here they shoved a fucking American flag in his head. Uh, wheelchair mutant. Big He's brain. my favorite. He's my favorite. I like him. Yeah. However, mm -hmm. I do not like his we're victim speech. Yeah, you know what? It's weird that they did this because I thought the newspaper clippings were enough. Yeah. Were enough, but it could be one of those things where like, did the producers or writers not feel confident? And they're like, maybe we should have someone spell this out. I just don't feel like we needed, though, to have empathy for them. Like, no. I think the entire point of the movie is that, like, there's duality in every person. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. like, we know automatically the Carters are both good and bad. They're becoming more brutal as things yeah. are going on in order to mm -hmm. defend themselves. Probably the mutants are also both good and bad. Like, yeah. I don't think that we need, like, the... I forget exactly what he says, but... You know, he's like, oh, like everybody hurt us. And, you know, I don't yeah. need to feel bad for them. But he's like, he's like, your people yeah. did this. I don't want to, I want oh, yeah, Doug to be like, me. but also, wouldn't that be like, they're like before they were mutants, like it was also their people, right? Yeah. yeah. So basically, the story is that it was a mining town. Yeah. Yes. The government told them, this is now an airfield, get out of there. Yeah. And then they decided to stay. Not. Exactly. Because I guess they didn't know what an atom bomb was, or I guess it was new at yeah. the time and they didn't understand radiation. So they led to a generation of mutated kids. So why are they saying though, like your people did this? It's like that was also your, your people. Because they don't know. He's he says he's never he's left that room. He doesn't know the difference. Like if I was Doug, I'd be like, oh no, I didn't do that. My unfortunately, my tax dollars go toward it, which I'm not thrilled with. But uh, he's like, you know what? I could tell you where DC is if you really want to take it up with those sons of bitches. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's yelling at Doug, and Doug should be like, I don't make those decisions. I'm not in the military. Yes. Like, I don't, he wasn't born in that situation, right? He was just the wheelchair happy. guy, yeah. No, he was, he was born there, yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, born as a mutant, yeah, yeah. No, so he's like Who? generations since it started in like the 40s, I but guess. Isn't the one supposed to be, I guess, not the son in this one, is he? I don't think he, they. I don't think they're related they to never, gas station. They guy. never describe the relation with gas station guy, and they never describe Big Brain's relationship with the rest of the family. Yeah. So we know that Lizard, Goggle, and Pluto, Pluto are siblings. Mm -hmm. We know that Jupiter is the father figure. Yeah. But like we don't get that same explanation that we got in the yeah. original. Yeah. So it's big, a whole different big brain is not yeah. necessarily. Yeah. It's a whole different lore. This is all yeah, made so up for this movie. Out, like yeah. who was originally where the radiation affected them? They're like, probably not there you? anymore. It's mm -hmm. probably these are like probably the grandchildren of whoever that was. Maybe gas station guy was the one who could pull off looking normal. Maybe that's why he helped them out. That that could be a way. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I actually do like this backstory. I don't like that it's spelled out by Brain Guy, but I do like this whole backstory and this like creation for the movie. I do yeah. too. I, I don't mind mm. feeling, feeling some empathy for them. I just mm. don't feel like it needs to be that forced in the con I don't yeah. mind it being a little bit of that conversation, but being that forced into like, mm. a, it just felt very out of place. Well, yeah, and that's the thing. I don't mind feeling it for them if I feel it naturally. I don't yes. need you to hit me it over the forced. fucking head with Absolutely. it. Like, I don't yeah. need you to tell me I should feel bad for these poor little mutants. Like, yeah. I'm going to feel bad for them a little bit because I'm not, a, I'm not an idiot when I'm watching mm -hmm. this movie. Like, yeah. Don't act like I'm stupid. So yeah. I, I really hated that. But there were probably a lot of stupid. Other people than that, he this. was an awesome, awesome. Yeah, human. he was cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, then uh, Pluto shows up. He fights with Doug. Beast interrupts and then gets knocked out. Oh God damn. Um, the fight is cool. I like when he breaks through the wall. My only problem with the breaking through the wall, I could tell the way they were framing it. He was gonna break through the wall, and it just took it a little too. If it happened quicker, it would have been more jarring. But I'm like, mm. all right, you guys are focusing on that wall a lot. I know he's coming through that wall. <laughs> <laughs> that fight is pretty cool. I like when Doug tricks Pluto. Like he acts like he's gonna give up. He gets his fingers cut off. Mm -hmm. Yay! Which is brutal. Yeah, that was brutal. Um, but I like when he tricks him and then he fucking pulls the American flag out of his father in law's oh head. <laughs> and then <it's> fucking <laughs> Okay, so Doug goes from being a, yeah. I don't use guns, I'm afraid of this, mm -hmm. to using a pickaxe, an yeah. American flag, yeah, he, uh, everything. Yeah. Like, he goes from being the most timid of the yeah. bunch, the most dweebiest of the bunch, to being the most brutal. Yeah, he, he like I said, flag to the head, he axe so to good. the head, yeah. goes outside, neck brace guy, he flips over the eye, pokes him in the eye. Not a fan it of that. It just like, you, you know, everyone's got that kind of, like, in them. Like, yeah. when it comes to, like, survival mode, yeah. like, it's fuck everything yeah. we're on. Yep. Yeah. He decides to spare wheelchair guy, but Beast, <laughs> Beast has other ideas. Beast is like, no, I... I realize that you are not a threat to me, but I will be murdering you. Unless Beast understands English and heard wheelchair guy going, kill the baby. <laughs> um, which I guess- He might, we happen. don't know. He yeah. might, he might. Yeah, we never see Big Mama. I don't know if she uh, yeah. ever gets her comeuppance. Mm -hmm. Ruby saves the kid uh, from the lizard. Lizard was gonna kill him. And then I like when Doug goes into that uh, one house and the little kids are playing, the ones wearing the mask. And I was yeah. like, Mr. Will you play with those? Or like faces falling you, off. I think that you definitely feel bad for them. Like that's not mm -hmm. forcing it, but you're like, yeah. shit, these are mm -hmm. children. And yeah. he's trying to save his children. And these children need saving as well. Exactly. So, like, yeah. that's the I kind. don't need the explanation. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to someone, show me, not tell me. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine yeah. someone just comes in the room and be like, do you feel like you need to save these children? Yeah. Your ba like, Yeah, I would have been like, shut up. Yeah. 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 And then, like, back at the trailer, I think Jupiter steals the the mom's body. Yes. yes. And then they were like, well, we got to split up and look for the corpse. I'm like, no, I'm you good. Don't. I'm good. I'm sorry. If, like, you guys were corpses in a car and someone stole you, I'd be like, oh, well, I guess I'll just let whoever I find know that they were murdered and their bodies are stolen. I'm not going to go out into the desert looking for a dead body. You would have been gone way before he fucking found our fucking <laughs> Yeah, I would have. You would have been so fucking far out. <laughs> <laughs> You're back at that gas station. You were doing. I really one of my, one of my biggest heroes in film is uh, Mr. Pink from Reservoir Dogs, who just hides under the stairs and waits yeah. for everyone to kill each other, yes. and then fucks off with the diamonds. Um, I learned a lot from that guy, <laughs> Papa Jupiter. When we finally see him in full, he's a bit of a letdown because the original they hype him up with the yeah. big scar on his face, yeah. and he's gigantic in yeah. the original. And this, he's just like got a cool black coat on yeah. and some long hair. I'm like, oh. oh. Okay, thought yeah. that'd be cooler. Yeah. Uh, and he's not like even really like a big threat in this, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Which is so strange because everyone else has like the coolest effects, coolest mm. makeup. Everyone looks disgusting and altered and everything. Well, the one they really had to do was Pluto because he was like so iconic in the yeah. original. Like they had to try to one up that. Yeah. Yeah, and then the kids rig uh, the trailer to explode like they do in the original. I like the booby traps in both of yeah. the... Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I just love it. I think it's very cute. <laughs> and he uh, fucking blows himself up. <laughs> Lizard and Doug finally duke it out. And this mm -hmm. is kind of like a fun scene. Because I, I like that he like looks at his wedding ring, and that kind of like motivates him to get up and like kill Lizard. Yeah. Um... He unfortunately doesn't kill Lizard, but Ruby does. This is sad. Ruby sacrifices herself because she survives in the original. Yeah. And if I remember right, 
is one of the main characters in the very disappointing follow-up. Oh, yes. uh, God, we should talk about that one day. Uh, Jupiter survives. And then, what's her face? Brenda just puts a spike in his head. Yeah. It's like, how? Oh, I thought that'd be a little cooler. Yeah. yeah. I guess they don't hype him up as much in this one, so it's he shouldn't be a problem. Have... But if I like knowing the original, yeah. I'd be. I was like, oh wow, I thought he was gonna be way cooler. Yeah. I thought they were gonna try to one up that, and said they went all in on Pluto and Lizard yeah. for some reason. Yeah. I feel like Brenda, like they just had to give Brenda a kill. Yeah, like, you kind of want her to get a kill after what she went through. Yeah. She again, she went through the worst. Yeah, yeah. out of all the survivors. I, I guess Doug gives her a run for the money because he's now missing limbs and shit. You know <laughs> like, that's an appendage. Uh, Brenda is an underrated final girl. We already did that episode. Kelly, who's an underrated final girl? You want to throw one out there? You're putting her on the spot right I, now. Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck. It's a very overwhelming question. That is a really so overwhelming question. I'm sorry. Can not be an asshole? I don't have a good. I have to think about that. Okay, yeah. let me I know. Will, I will let you know though because that is a really good question. But like the, the episode didn't do well enough to do a oh. part two. But uh, let it's me know personally so what you what you decide. It's just, you watch these horror films and you don't even think sometimes of certain like girls being yeah. like I never even thought of Brenda being a final girl. Yeah. And then you're like, fuck, like yes. this is half she like totally revenge yeah. and like she's going at it. Like there's sure there's other survivors yeah. with her. She's not the solo, but yeah, damn. But yeah, he gets the baby back and they all hug. And then I assume they die of either exposure or dehydration or as the ending hints, more mutants. Yay, there was yeah. more. There was a whole town. There's probably a lot more out there. Yeah. And I don't remember if I, well, I told the story of how I tried to see Hills of Eyes too. I went to a theater and they had a big cardboard poster and then they went, we're not playing that film. Why? <laughs> I don't know. They're like, that's not screening here. And I point it to the poster. I'm like, well, that's a little misleading then. <laughs> but I remember that. If I remember right, that one was basically just alien. Like the military yeah. goes in and yeah. it's like basically aliens. Yeah. Uh, but no, I really like this. Um, for me, I enjoy it more than the original. I think I prefer the new backstory to the killers. Whereas in the original, I'm like, okay, well, it's. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, only these weirdos live in the mountains instead of Texas. Uh, I like the whole backstory with like the new, I don't like it being spelled out, but I like the whole like, you know, radiation and stuff. I like that they're mutants. It makes it a little different from the original. I like Doug way more in this. I like how he does start off as like yeah, a pansy yeah. and he kind of becomes a badass toward yeah. the end. Uh, yeah, overall, I just really, really enjoy this. How do you fall on it? Are I you... love it. I really thought I, I had hated it for years and years and years. I'm so glad that I gave it another watch because I ended up loving it. Um, I think that the only things that it's really missing for me, I think it's totally better than the original. I think that it's more brutal. I think yeah. it's more interesting. Yeah. I think I am more attached to the characters. The original has that rawness that yeah. you were mm. describing, which I love. But um, there's something about having it be a little bit more clean that also yeah. makes it really special. I think the only things that's missing are Michael Berryman and yeah. um, the original. It's weird he didn't get like a cameo. It is. He was in like Devil's yeah. Rejects and stuff yeah. around yeah. the time of this. He probably would have done it. Um, and then the original also, the production designer was Robert Burns, who yeah. also did Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Taurus Trap, which okay. is another great oh, mannequin Taurus movie. Taurus Trap is great. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think that he really, the production design of that original, even though they yeah. had the lower budget, I think there are some things that were kind of missing yeah. in the remake when it comes to that. But overall, I if I had to pick, and I never thought I would admit this ever <laughs> before, but I like the remake better. That's my a lot of people I, maybe even Joe Bob said it on his show I forget, yeah. but where do you land on this? Um, I don't necessarily say I like the remake better. I think I like them both equally because they give me a different vibe. Like the mm. first, yeah. like the rich or the remake is definitely a faster pace. It's more exciting. A lot more is happening. It keeps my attention a little bit yeah. more. But I do like the the seventies low budget vibe of the original. So yeah. it really depends on what mood I'm in. I I love them. I want to say love them both, but I truly respect and I like and I like them both and I respect that they stayed true to the original which is very rare especially mm. in horror yeah. yeah yeah I think you, you win either way yeah, yeah. you win either Absolutely. way I feel about this with like certain remakes like what did I like Suspiria I like the original and I like the yeah. remake they're very different yeah. I think you win either way oh. you get a good movie either way another good mannequin movie yeah Maniac. I love yeah, the, the, remake, yeah. the remake. The remake of Maniac was surprisingly good. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. 
I was and, uh, the original is one of my favorites. Yeah, the original is great, and I remember and the remake given the remake. A ch- the only thing I didn't like about the remake is that it put goodbye horses in a creepy scene. I'm like, nah, that's kind of that other movies thing. You can't like t- pick a different song. Pick a different <laughs> song. That movie kind of owns that song. Um, yeah, I can't really think of too many other ones though that do it. Yeah, like Justice. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, let us know what you think. Which one do you like more? What other uh, movies do you think that the, yeah. re- the there's a justice with the remake? Also, this is really twice now, uh, Kaylee. Any other remakes that you hated back in the day that we should revisit? Because uh, this probably is probably tw- a ton. This is twice now where you're like, Last yeah. House Left isn't that bad. Oh, I kind of like Hills of Ice more. I think I might have just been an asshole when I was a teenager. <laughs> well, you know what? I maybe, maybe, I- maybe, maybe the Nightmare on Elm Street remake is pretty good. No, I'm kidding. There's no fucking, no fucking way. Fuck- I'm no not even fucking way. I'm not even justifying that with a response. You can't. You uh, can't. Out of all the remakes of Wes Craven's work, you know, I'm like John Carpenter. He gets better remakes, but no, Nightmare is definitely the worst one I've seen. I, I think I have to. Are there any other remakes of his work, or is it just these three? Uh, I'm not counting Swamp Thing, the TV show, because Swamp Thing wasn't like. Was like I can't an think of anything else. I can't either. But yeah, I didn't realize how bad Friday, like that was because I thought Friday Mary 13th, mean. Yeah, I thought Friday Thirteenth remake was really really bad. I was like, oh my god, I can't. This is like one of the worst. Well, you're gonna revisit topics. it next then, Friday the Thirteenth. That's next on our Friday the Thirteenth list. Yeah. Okay, I'm down. But I thought that was the worst, and then I rewatched Nightmare on Elm Street remake, and I was like, nope, nope, this is <laughs> the worst. <laughs> that was the horrific. One. Nope, it wins. Uh, but yeah, let us know what you think. Uh, Kaylee, aka Lucy. Yes. Where can we find you? Uh, you can find me as Kaylee at okay. Once Over with Kaylee. Kaylee is C-A-Y-L-E-Y. And then you can also find me on Who Are These Podcasts every Wednesday night. And over there, I am known as Lucy Tightbox. Unless you got fired or had a falling out with Carl in between. Which is entirely this. possible. <laughs> Crystal, where can we find you so I can avoid it? Oh, here. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Wait, you are here a lot. <laughs> Fuck, I'm moving. Not I'm that mo- often. Are I'm you moving. kidding me? I'm moving a lot. I'm, I'm not in. I'm not here as, like, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not in enough. Everyone's like, yeah, she's in way too much. Um, I don't know. Find me on socials, Crystal Quinn. I don't know, Twitter. Okay. Fans. Sure. Say? The Lee fans. I don't know. I don't YouTube's know. Can, like back yeah. and forth. I can't can post you? links to it. I know that. Oh, whatever. Um, um, I don't know, but can't I can't even I, do I a link tree. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, I actually, you know, I have fun on Twitter, aka X, Instagram. <laughs> I don't know. Socials. All right. I'm just follow start, Crystal around. Yeah, I'm going to start streaming more. Hopefully, I'll by the time this comes out, I'll be I'll give you her address uh, and you can follow her there. <laughs> uh, the PO box. <laughs> You can find her in the middle of a crater in the desert. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.